Hello, my Sagittarians, Sag and Sag Rising friends. Sandra from ForYourChi.com. We're here to do your July 2021 reading. I'm so excited to be back with you all and give you these monthly zodiac forecasts that I get so much feedback from. Thank you so much for being here and for watching. We're going to get to it. You guys have not an easy month this month, but you know, you are in the depths of eclipses in your sign of Sag and um, your partner sign, which is Gemini. So I would definitely look up that next eclipse that happens in July, and I would definitely be saying some protection around yourselves, around your family, around your vehicles, and around your um, home and property during that time. Um, because that, those are the times when if the, you know, what is going to hit the fan, it could definitely happen around those dates. And even in between all of those, because we feel the effects of the eclipse six weeks and after, but Sagittarians and Gemini's are being affected more so than other signs because of where the eclipse takes place. Okay. First house. How is your sleep cycle? I'm waiting for everyone to laugh. You're laughing on the inside, and that's because you know you're tired. But, and then you say that you can't sleep, right? Well, my answer to that is, how hard have you tried? The hardest, and I'm, I'm married to a Sag, y'all. And he has more Sag in his chart than I've ever seen in my life. His Sag matches, matches the amount of Scorpio and then some. He does not like to the act of going to bed, like head hitting the pillow. But once the head hits the pillow, he's out. And that's because it's been go, go, go all day, right? So try to get to bed earlier. You will feel better. Your body absolutely needs the rest right now. You might not need the, re the rest the remainder of the year, but for some reason, you need it like right now at the beginning of July. Now you have the deer here from the Wisdom of Avalon deck, which talks about stillness and gentleness and t diplomacy. So this is about being gentle with yourselves, gentle with your body. You know, perhaps it's summertime. There's been a lot of get-togethers and parties. You know, you might want you might want to uh, seek your doctor's advice, functional medicine doctor or otherwise, for a gentle liver cleanse. Don't shoot the messenger, Sag. Second house, spiritual strength here. Okay, so you may feel like your money is challenged at this time. Um, however, this card indicates that you already have everything within you to overcome the challenges. Now, you may need to draw back the spending a little bit, or there may be something you may have to make a purchase this month that you weren't intending to, and so therefore some money went out. Um, and we do have the movement card, so there's definitely stuff happening here in the money department. Um, even if you have to pull in the reins, Sag, you know, definitely don't worry about it. Take the action, certainly. Whatever action you have to take, take it, but don't worry about it. You guys are the major manifestors. You're going to make more money. You're going to manifest more money. And you guys really have to put um, little effort into doing that. Now, the other thing is the Sagittarians, you guys are ruled by Jupiter, as you already know. Jupiter's in retrograde. I have to look up the date that Jupiter goes direct, but it's months down the road. It could even be fall. So when that happens, I get a lot of Sagittarians who feel that retrograde they really like Jupiter to go in a forward direction. Um, so 
you know, and of course, the more Sag that you have in your chart, the more that you're going to feel it. But it's okay. Like, this happens every year. It's okay. It's going to be okay. You've been through lots of Jupiter retrogrades, and this is no exception. All right. Where are we? Third house. This is the financial challenge card, but you don't have to worry because this is in the third house, which relates to other people, specifically your brother or sister, someone that you consider a sibling. They may have had a recent layoff from their job um, or some other, you know, their spouse was laid off or they had some other shift in income that was not in a good way for them. And so you may hear from the sibling and they actually may ask you to borrow some money. Um, not saying that you should or shouldn't because each one of you has different situations and scenarios going on, so it's going to be different for each one of you, right? But definitely get a reading on it before you do that because you are, although the money, your money cards were like, if I had to put a words to it, I would say caution flag. It's not a green light. It's not a red light. It's like a yellow light. Okay. Slight caution. Now, there's something about your sibling that needs to change the perception here. So while they may look at whatever has gone on in their financial lives as a total disaster, there was actually some some sort of saving grace here I'm hearing and so you may need to be the one that says we need to look at the bright side I know this is a rough time right now it's important to count your blessings people really don't want to hear that but let me tell you I am living proof that just a small amount of gratitude every single day even when something like this happens and not going into full-blown downward spiral, spiral worry. It makes all the difference in the world. Seriously. Okay, fourth house. We have a, this is a red flag warning here in your fourth house, Sag. We got the devil card. So this is where you live, and that's why this is a problem. So you may live with someone who was in is in AA they were on the sober train and all of a sudden the month of July hits and they have fallen off the wagon I have also seen this card show up for clients who have had someone in their lives their past past that is like a person that falls off the train as a relative and they come knocking at their door or text them asking them to crash on their couch. Bad idea. Very, very bad idea. This person is not on the straight path and they need to get it on the straight path immediately. Um, so the devil presents 75% of the time as an addiction, an addicted person that needs to be dealt with in or around your home. Now, the fourth house for me, sometimes your father can show up here. This could definitely be your father who falls off the wagon, or your father could have someone in his life, immediate circle, immediate family, something like that, that falls off the wagon, and they're dealing with that. Now, let me just say this. Sometimes this means that there is a lower energy and vibration in or around your home that needs to be cleared out. Do you, are you laying, are you picking up what I'm laying down, Sag? If you have some weird house things going on that cannot be explained, you need to have a house clearing. You can definitely do it yourself. Get a smudge stick. As long as you're not, as long as it doesn't freak you out, it's fine. Just command that shit out. If it's not paying your rent or your mortgage, then it's not allowed to be there. It's that simple. Okay. Fourth house. Still, the truth. So whatever this is, it's trying to hide, or this could be a person, of course, as we discussed. It's trying to hide some truth here. 
but not to worry because you're watching this reading and you are going to get to the bottom of this truth. Now this could be an issue that's been under the surface for many moons now and it finally comes to light and you finally, it's like this epiphany aha moment where the angels are singing and you're like, aha, that's what it is the whole time. That's what it's been the whole time. Fifth house, accelerated motion. Okay, so here we go again with the caution flag. Fifth house represents your social life, your social circle. For those of you single Sages, it represents your dating life. Accelerated motion to me as a reader, this card indicates a harsh life lesson. How do you avoid this lesson? Just say no to the things that you really don't want to do. Because if you really don't want to do it and you say yes, there is a, at least a part of you that's going to regret this. Like I'm, and we even have this, we got a full blown red flag warning in your ninth house, which I'm going to go over, but someone, there is someone that's watching this reading that is going to get an invitation to go camping and you should say no, definitely go no, say no to camping with this other person. We've got the Merlin card here. Okay, so the Merlin is like the magical aspect of the universe that's coming in to save you. Talks about alchemy and balance here. So the other thing about balance that I'm getting with this card is make sure that you're not saying yes to too many offers and you're being pulled in too many different directions. Everyone loves a Sagittarius. Everyone loves a Sagittarius at the party. You guys are the life of the party. You know, you bring the energy. You bring the party places, and they want you to show up. Well, and it's hard for a Sag to say no to that because you guys like to party, and you guys like people, and you guys like the attention, etc. right? Um, but there's just something about July that's leading me back to this first house here, rest and balance right? It can't be go, go, go all the time, you guys. You got to bring in the reins at least a little bit sometimes. Just a little. Sixth house, new beginnings. Okay, this is work and health. Sixth house rules work and health. The Sagittarius may all of a sudden wake up in July and say, I'm on a new health regimen. You guys do this all the time. I'm on a new diet and exercise plan. That could be coming for you in July, especially if you've already been thinking about it, right? Uh, this could also be a new job or something that starts brand new about your current job because this is, some, this is you doing something brand new that you've never done before, and that's exciting. And holy shit, we have the high priestess here. So you, this newness that has ushered itself in here is because you have received the message from the divine and I'm getting goosebumps right now so this sixth house is big time highlighted for you this month and honestly I love it I love it for you guys congratulations whatever you're doing there relationships you know they've been better let's face it stand your ground Drawing the line in the sand, don't let your partner run all over you. This could be someone that's coming in, if those of you who are single Sages that are maybe not dating someone and someone comes in out of the blue and tries to rearrange your whole life in one night and you're just like, whoa, 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 where is this coming from? I don't think so, honey. Like, you don't know me like that, right? Here we have letting go. I feel like Letting go is letting go of the expectation of this relationship. The, the Sagittarians do have high expectations for people. Um, but I, I feel like you putting your foot down and letting go are actually two very separate things. So it's like, you know, one week it's going to be like nobody railroads me. I do what I want. And then it's gonna, and then the next week, or maybe two weeks down the road in the month of July, you're gonna have to let something go here that you were holding on to. 
Do I feel like it's letting go of an entire relationship? Not so much. Not so much, Sag. So for those of you that are partnered, I wouldn't worry about it too much. It's just going to be sort of, you know, all relationships have up and downs, right? Okay, here we go, the 8th house. 8th house, you did pull the death card. 8th house rules, taxes, legal matters, contracts, the source of your significant other's income. This is definitely big change. This could be um, upheaval in some sort because sometimes major endings have drama associated with them. And this eclipse is in your sign. These eclipses are in your sign and your partner sign of Gemini. And I'm calling it the partner sign because it's on the same astrological axis. So any eclipse that would happen in Gemini also affects Sag because you're on that same horizontal line. Now you did pull partnership here. This does rule contracts. For those of you Sages that are into contracts, this could be that someone ends the contract, certainly. Um, for maybe a slight few of you, this might be talking about your intimacy department. Um, there could be some major change involved there, although I feel like that's very few of you. Now, the ninth house is, we have to have some discussions about this. Okay, disruption... The ninth house rules travel in school, okay, and deception and envy in your ninth house. If you have not already planned your own vacation, because this is the house of travel, for some of you, this could be talking about a new vehicle, because the ninth house does rule travel by vehicle. I would definitely not buy a new vehicle if I could absolutely help it in July. I also would not go on any vacation with anyone where I have not specifically, well, number one, I would not go on any vacation with anyone that I did not want to go with or to the destination. Like, you have to love the destination. You have to, have to uh, know it and love it. Like, you've been there before. You want to go back again. You know where you're staying. You know the surroundings. You know the people that are going to be there with you. Um, because someone could be trying to pull the wool over your eyes if you're in a situation and scenario where someone has booked it for you. You see what I'm saying? I would avoid all of that. If you haven't already booked a vacation in July and someone pops up and says, hey, let's, you know, be spontaneous and let's fly to Vegas this weekend, I would definitely opt out of all of that. It does not look like a good time. You definitely want to have a good time on vacation because you're going to spend your money and time, right? And especially with the warning in the second house, I definitely wouldn't go on something like that. Tenth house, however, the light. Okay, tenth house rules career. Also, your mother can be showing up in the tenth house. The light says prosperity and bliss are, are assured. So this could be related to your career, Sag, right now. It could also be talking about your mother, that your mother is in a good place and space right now, too. I love that. What do we have here? The cow that talks about abundance and nourishment. Love, love, love it. Your 10th house is by far the best house so far in July. Here we go. 11th house rules children, also rules best friendship, someone that you would consider a close friend here. Okay, so harmony is warm and fuzzy feelings. You, If you have an older child, they could definitely meet someone new or be in a new relationship in the month of July, and they are loving each other. They are loving the relationship. If you do not have children, this is talking about a best friend of yours. They are either in love, they have met someone, or they are loving life right now. You, you pulled the love card here, so this is major. 
Although this is not the karmic card, it doesn't necessarily have to be for a major romantic um, message and relationship to come up in this. Remember, this is not you. This is either your child or your best friend. I got love twice. Big time, big time, big time. Okay, and you're going to hear all about it. <laughs> Even if this is your child, they are not afraid to speak their mind. One way or the other, you're going to hear about it. 12th house. Okay, major money coming in in the month of October. This is the future card for three months from now. This is the reaping the harvest of the good seeds that you have sown the previous three months, but look for it in October. Okay, so I know I said that, you know, watch the money, watch the spending, but it looks like we have a turnaround in the fall for you, so congratulations, your money is being protected. I love it, and I even think that Jupiter comes direct in October. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. Maybe you can look up the dates and mention it in the comments. Thanks so much for being with me here, Sag. It went on quite a long time, so thanks for sticking around.